Hello again everyone. This time we will talk about thermodynamic potentials. The state of system can be completely described by any of the five state variables pressure, volume, temperature, entropy and internal energy. Out of this internal energy is determined by using the remaining four that is pressure, volume, temperature and entropy. From the first and second law of thermodynamics we have d equal to tds minus pdv change in internal energy equal to temperature into change in entropy minus pressure into change in volume so if you look at this equation internal energy can be uh, determined by using the remaining four that is pressure volume temperature and entropy so this is the reason why only four state variables are defined now there are four thermodynamic potentials number one is internal energy that is given by u number two Helmholtz free energy given by f that is equal to internal energy minus temperature into entropy the third one is enthalpy that is h which is equal to summation of internal energy and the product of pressure and volume the fourth one is gibbs free energy or gibbs function given by g which is equal to internal energy plus pressure into volume minus temperature into entropy now we will first go to internal energy given by u it is the total energy of the system total energy of the system total energy of the system hanti khan ama system ina ama in siam nan le a om ve na na energy ane kha ani a kinetic energy system pum puin alo cheya kinetic energy ane kha chhar tela ni lawa tin external field of anga potential energy ane po chhar tela ni lawa ama system chunga energy ane ve sim sim ama om ve nan le a system lo in siam lo in din chona na energy ane kha internal energy chu ani according to the first law of thermodynamics we have dq equal to du plus dw dw is the work done that is equal to pdv okay so if dw is taken on the left hand side we have du equal to dq minus dw dw is equal to pdv so we have du equal to dq minus pdv and from the second law of thermodynamics we have dq equal to dds so if you look at this equation if you put this dds in this equation we will get d equal to dds minus pdv this is equation one internal energy is called first thermodynamical potential here equation one gives the change in internal energy okay now d equal to dq minus pdv this is called dds minus pdv for an adiabatic process as we all know adiabatic process means there is no transfer of heat that is heat remains constant dq equal to zero hence if dq equal to zero du equal to pdv so this means that in adiabatic process work done by the system is at the expense of its internal energy adiabatic process b cut so one system in work done and it can ama internal energy ka among relative nani for an isochoric adiabatic process isochoric process can teach so one volume constant ani a adiabatic process a so one amount of heat transfer ka om lo kan tipoka so we have dv equal to zero for isochoric process and dq equal to zero for adiabatic process this means that dq becomes zero dv becomes zero du equal to zero that is u is a constant that is in isochoric adiabatic process internal energy of the system remains constant now we shall talk about helmholtz free energy given by f okay helmholtz free energy is nothing but the useful work done useful work done or the maximum obtainable work done by the system at constant volume and constant temperature okay remember that it is the maximum obtainable work done by the system at constant volume according to first and second law of thermodynamics du equal to tds minus dw 
If the system is maintained at constant temperature by exchanging heat continuously with the surroundings, temperature ngay rang turchon in a surrounding satong in heat can supply char char amo emo kan lak chua sak char char khan. Temperature low constant don ta chuti ni chuan. TDS will become DTS. Okay, we can take T inside the derivative. And DU equal to DTS minus DW. So DTS we are taking on the we will take on the left hand side that it will become D into U minus TS which is equal to minus DW. U minus TS is nothing but F. Okay, so we have DF equal to minus DW. F which is equal to U minus TS is known as Helmholtz free energy or Helmholtz work function. Here we have DF equal to DU minus TS. This is equal to DU minus D, sorry, DU minus D DS minus S into DT. But we know that DU equal to DDS minus PDV. So if you substitute DU, TDS minus PDV here, TDS will cancel out each other. So we have DF equal to minus PDV minus SDT. This is equation 2. This is change in Helmholtz free energy. And for reversible isothermal process, isothermal means change in temperature is equal to zero or temperature remains constant. Okay, so then we will have df equal to minus pdv or pdv equal to minus df this means that pdv is nothing but the work done so for reversible isothermal process the work done is equal to decrease in Helmholtz free energy for isothermal isochoric process as we already mentioned isochoric process means volume remains constant so isothermal means temperature remains constant dt equal to zero for isothermal process isochoric process means volume dv equal to zero so for this condition we have df equal to zero f equal to constant means helmholtz free energy remains constant for isothermal isochoric process now we shall go to enthalpy enthalpy is known as the total heat or the total heat content okay it is uh, given by internal energy plus the product of pressure into volume if the system undergoes an infinitesimal reversible process then change in enthalpy equal to dh equal to du plus pdv plus vdp but du equal to tds minus pdv so if we transfer or substitute tds minus pdv in this equation pdv will cancel out each other or dh equal to tds plus vdp this is equation three then for reversible isobaric process isobaric means pressure remains constant dp equal to zero then from equation 3 dh equal to tds this is equal to dq so that means for an isobaric process change in enthalpy is equal to heat absorbed or we can say that change in enthalpy is equal to change in heat that means heat absorbed or emitted heat absorbed or emitted for an isobaric adiabatic process dp equal to zero for isobaric process for, uh, for a adiabatic process, dq equal to 0. Hence, we have d is equal to 0, h is a constant. This means enthalpy remains constant in reversible isobaric adiabatic process. Now we shall go to the last function that is Gibbs function or Gibbs free energy. Gibbs free energy is the maximum obtainable work done for a system in constant pressure or a system at constant pressure okay it was called by the thermodynamic potential at constant pressure remember that Helmholtz free energy is the maximum obtainable work done at constant volume here we are talking about Gibbs free energy the difference is that 
this is at constant pressure helm holds free energy at constant volume okay this is defined by the equation g equal to u minus ts plus pv internal energy minus temperature into entropy plus pressure into volume uh, helm holds free energy is given by u minus ts we can write g equal to f plus pv and this relation this is the relation between Gibbs function and Helmholtz function. And again, enthalpy H is given by U plus PV. Therefore, U plus PV, that is, if we put this equation in equation 4, we have G equal to H minus TS. This is the relation between enthalpy and Gibbs free energy. So, H is equal to this, H is enthalpy equal to Gibbs free energy plus temperature into entropy this is nothing but the latent heat so we can say that enthalpy equal to summation of Gibbs free energy and latent heat now for an isothermal process TDS equal to DTS okay for an isobaric process DP equal to zero we are going to use these two condition and hence if the process is isothermal and isobaric then we have dh equal to dts this is not a new uh, definition we have already explained this one or mentioned this one in uh, the explanation of enthalpy so if you look back the enthalpy explanation you will get dh equal to dts so if we take dts on the left hand side we have dh minus ts equal to zero h minus ts is nothing but g so we get dg equal to zero change in gibbs free energy equal to zero or gibbs free energy remains constant so g equal to h minus ts is known as thermodynamic potential at constant pressure or gibbs function or gibbs free energy or we can also say that for an isothermal isobaric process gibbs free energy remains constant now significance of thermodynamic potentials what are the significance okay what is the significance of thermodynamic potentials in mechanical system okay in mechanical system potential energy of the system is minimum at the equilibrium at the state of equilibrium potential energy of the system is minimum that is the system must proceed towards minimum potential energy this is in mechanical system okay but in thermodynamics this similar behavior is observed the behavior of internal energy Helmholtz free energy enthalpy and Gibbs free energy is similar to potential energy in mechanics for example isothermal isochoric process in isothermal isochoric process Helmholtz free energy tends to be minimum then in isothermal isobaric process Gibbs free energy tends to be minimum and in isobaric adiabatic process enthalpy tends to be minimum okay this function tends to be minimum in different processes as in the case of uh, mechanics we have potential energy which tries to become minimum so we can say that these functions are called thermodynamic potentials so these functions are called thermodynamic potentials because they have the similar behavior of potential energy in mechanics thank you